हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स लेट्स सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन बेल्ट ट्रांसमिशन बेसिकली द पीटीओ पावर ट्रांसमिशन ओके इन दैट सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज लाइक दिस इन एच बी सेक्शन वी वेल टू ट्रांसमिट 5 किलोवाट एट ए बेल्ट स्पीड ऑफ 17 मीटर पर सेकंड द इंक्लूडेड एंगल बिटवीन द साइड्स ऑफ द बेल्ट क्रॉस सेक्शन इज 38 डिग्री एंड द बेल्ट डेंसिटी इज 1.25 ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यू द आर्क ऑफ कांटेक्ट ऑन द स्मॉलर सीव इज 150 डिग्री टेंशनिंग इज एक्सप्लिस्ड बाय चेंजिंग द पोजीशन ऑफ एन एडजस्टेबल आइडलर कैलकुलेट टी टी एंड टी एस और यू कैन से टेंशन इन द टाइट साइड एंड टेंशन इन द स्लैक साइड ऑफ द बेल्ट इन अदर कैलकुलेट द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल टेंशन टी सी ओके स्टेट फॉरवर्ड एक क्वेश्चन इज देयर सो द पावर ट्रांसमिशन इज 5 किलोवाट स्पीड ऑफ द बेल्ट इज 17 मीटर पर सेकंड ओके सो लेट अस सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम देन सो फर्स्ट पार्ट so what are the data is given the given power is 5 kilowatt to be transmitted speed of the bed is 17 meter per second and arc of contact is 150 degree centigrade 150 degree okay so now to find the tension in the spring we need to use two equation so what are the equations first one is the power transmitted by bed drive we know that uh, depends on the uh, tension difference between the tight side and Slack side, so you can see here T T and minus T S. So there is a newton and power transmitted in kilowatt. So into velocity is meter per second. So newton at meter per second is the watt divided by thousand is kilowatt. So you can easily calculate this one. So it's very simple. So there is first equation. The second equation the tension ratio between the tight side and slack side. Let us know that R A is T T by T S. That is equal to e to the power k theta so exponential so where theta is in uh, theta in radian so you can find out easily from degree to radian so arc of contact is given 150 degree so to calculate it to into degree as a radian so you can just multiply by pi by 180 okay so once you find out theta so you can put it into this so but uh, before this you need to know how the contact Uh, uh angle is find out actually the contact angle is uh, the adhering angle between the belt and pulley here you can see it's called the included angle also or you can say arc of contact between the belt and pulley so generally the uh, minimum side it is the small one we take so here actually the power is transmitted from one pulley to another pulley so there is driver and the driven so generally if it rotates clockwise okay so generally it will also uh, rotate clockwise so basically the same direction it will move but uh, the you can see since it driver so it will try to drive this this wheel so that this side will be the tight side so this one will be always in tight side and this one will be in uh, slack side so but here is two three shifts are there one is bigger one driven smaller one the driver and there is a very small which idler shift so this uh, shift is generally used to to uh, change uh, to adjust the uh, tension uh, or you can say tight the tension so it means that tension the tension ratio can be maintained from this actually so there is a, uh, there is certain rules are there how the ratio is maintained this one tt by ts it here actually two variables are there one is theta one is k how k you select k is generally depend on the different type of uh, pulley so if it's a v pulley or it's a flat pulley if it's a v pulley then k is generally taken as uh, 0.29 or uh, around 3 but it's a v pulley uh, and uh, uh, the contact angle the arc of contact is more than 180 degree generally uh, k is taken at uh, uh, 0.5 to go something like that okay so here actually since it's uh, v pulley but uh, uh, the problem is uh, the uh, arc of contact is uh, 150 degree so uh, first you have to find out theta so then this is the v belt cross section so here you can see the contact is very firm so in this case what do we take uh, k is uh, around 5 uh, uh, but less than 5 so we, we are taking it uh, is uh, 0.45 so we take uh, k is 0.45 and uh, 
Uh, angle is uh, calculated from here equally if it is uh, in radian 2.6175. So, putting this in, into this equation, we can find out uh, that is 3.24, that is your TT by TS. So, from there, you can find out the TT will be equal to 3.24 TS. And uh, uh, so that using this uh, ratio, so we can uh, what we will do? So, we will use this. Um, this equation, the first equation. So then you can find out actually T S. Yes, we know already the power is there. So just you put the, into the equation that is phi, phi is kilowatt power, and uh, instead of T T, so you can put uh, three point two four T S because we uh, find from here actually. Uh, then um, into seventeen is the uh, velocity that is seventeen meter per second. So and from there you can find out. Which is like the 2.24 TS will be equal to this much. So you take uh, this to this side and this to this side. So you can find out that is uh, TS will be equal to 131.3 Newton. So all uh, already we have explained here all our Newton and kilowatt and uh, everything we kept. So from there you can find out TS. So uh, once TS is find out, you can put into here actually. So TT will be equal to uh, 3.24 TS or you can find out 425.42 Newton. So it's very clear. So uh, the question, uh, the first part of the problem is solved. That is the 425.42 Newton is the T, uh, T, T S, uh, sorry, T T and T S is uh, 131.3 Newton. So next we will go to the uh, second part. For the second part, uh, what are the given? The given is uh, uh, belt uh, cross section uh, is given HV cross section. So, which includes uh, included angle of belt is 38 degree. And belt density is given, material of the belt uh, rubber density is given 1.25 gram per centimeter cube. So, actually, from the ASB, SAE table, you can find the cross section of the belt. So, there are st standard cross sections already, it's a standardized one. For HV cross section, you can find the uh, Width and height is 16.7 and 10.3. Uh, How you find? You can uh, find from this uh, table. So we are actually HA, HB, these are different cross section. So in this problem, it's given HB cross section. So from here, actually, you see HB nominal weight width is 16.7 millimeter and uh, belt depth is 10.3 millimeter. So groove angle is 3038. Here in this problem, it's given already 38 degree. So this is the cross section. Okay. So, just we take these two values from here, uh, this one um, 16.7 and 10.3, okay. So, uh, then, uh, so we go to the next, okay. So, this is the cross section, so of this belt. So, if you see the uh, width is given, so this is the width, okay. So, this is the width given, and this is the height given. You can see this one is the height. So, from there, actually, if you see this is A and this is B. So, uh, now actually, you have to find out uh, the area. Once you know the cross section. So you have to find out this is H. So now uh, what we will do? So the area uh, A is this one, the top top uh, length A 16.7, or we can say width, top width, and A the height is 10.3. So therefore the uh, B that is the uh, bottom width you can find out from this actually. If you see this uh, angle is given. This angle is uh, 19 degree. Sorry, 19 degree. Okay. So because uh, total angle is uh, this one angle is 38 degree, 38 degree. So um, uh, half angle you can take this one. So this uh, uh, side will be uh, h ten theta. If this is h, this is theta. Then this will be h ten theta. So both side if you minus from this, then you can find out B. So then B will be equal to A minus this and this. Okay. So this side and this side there is A ten theta. So I can you say uh, 
uh, b will be equal to a minus h tan theta so uh, that will be equal to 16.7 minus 2 into 10.3 into 0.344 so once you find out then you can it will be 7.09 so because it's 38 degree so it's given in the problem so that uh, included angle is 38 degree okay so now after finding out the a b and h you can find out the area of the uh, belt so cross section so the area of the belt cross section will be equal to a plus b divided by 2 into h so simple formula that is the trapezoidal trapezoidal section so that is 16.7 plus 7.9 b you can find out divided by 2 into h is given already 10.3 okay so then it will be equal to 122.52 um, millimeter square or you can find out uh, uh, same as uh, 2 centimeter square because uh, the density is given in uh, centimeter cube so you have to find it is in centimeter square so this is uh, we can make it because you know 1 uh, centimeter will be equal to 10 millimeter ok so next so for 1 meter of bed length you have to find out so the volume will be uh, the cross section area into uh, this uh, 1 meter so that means the um, volume of belt per meter will be equal to belt cross section area we find out now uh, now that is uh, um, 122.52 by 100 centimeter square then uh, for 1 meter it is 100 centimeter so just you uh, multiply by 100 so it will be uh, the area, uh, volume in centimeter cube per meter of the belt so once you find out the uh, belt uh, um, uh, volume you can find out mass so our main aim is to find out the mass of the belt for meter meter of uh, meter of belt length so here for meter of belt length the volume is there so to find out the mass you multiply with this density so density into volume will be equal to mass so now so the uh, belt mass per meter of belt length will be equal to uh, this much so that is the volume into density divided by thousand thousand because it's in gram is given the uh, density is given in gram per centimeter cube and uh, we just uh, make the units correctly centimeter cube per meter and it's uh, gram per centimeter cube so clearly you have to write down the uh, units so can you can find out easily so 122.5 you find out from here okay into 100 um, uh, by 100 so it's already cancelled so 122.5 into 1.25 is this uh, density okay so you just uh, multiply here divided 1000 then uh, you can find out there is 0.153 kg per meter of bed length so once you find out this it's very next one is to find out the centrifugal tension or tc the second part so the centrifugal tension you know that is uh, the uh, um, mass uh, belt mass into density square so uh, said so that will, that should be per meter so if you see the clearly the unit also will be same kg per meter and its velocity meter per second so it's the square so you see then uh, kg per meter then uh, this is meter square per second square meter and k meter cancel out so there will be meter per second square so kg into meter per second square is the newton so you see clearly the uh, tc will be newton so um, now we can find out easily so tc will be equal to 0.153 is uh, mass per uh, mass per uh, meter of belt length you find out here so if you multiply it here 0.153 into 17 square 17 meter per second square then you can directly find out the uh, tension centrifugal tension is 44.25 newton okay so this is the answer for the second part so this ends the problem hope you enjoy it so wait for my next video thank you